Hi, my name is Sherry Pettit, and I'm a senior training instructor for Emerson Educational Services. As part of our training focus in reliability solutions, we are hosting a series of educational videos to address some frequently asked questions by end users of the AMS Machinery Manager software and vibration analyzers. Our hope in creating this series is to help our customers more fully utilize their vibration tools to solve problems on their rotating equipment. For more information about available courses focused on vibration analysis, please visit the Educational Services landing page on the Emerson website. Today we will talk about a tool available for route-based data collection with the portable data collector such as the AMS2140. When setting up a route point, the analyst will include instructions for how the data collector will process and store data. The instructions for each measurement point location are sent from the AMS Machinery Manager software to the route program in the analyzer. These instructions are called Analysis Parameter Sets, or AP Sets for short. Each AP set defines how the incoming signal is collected, processed, and converted into a spectrum. The spectral data is sent back to the software for analysis. But what about the waveform data? What is actually being sent back to the software for trending and analysis? And what control does the analyst have over this information? We are talking today about the special time waveform. The STW is a tool available in your AMS Machinery Manager software that is misunderstood and underutilized. We could also refer to the Special Time Waveform as a custom waveform. The custom waveform can be enabled for route data collection and provides the analyst with the ability to define the units the waveform is stored in, specify the sample rate of the collected waveform, and define the waveform length for the stored waveform. When setting up the Special Time Waveform, these choices are independent of settings defined for the spectral data. Let's begin by opening Database Setup. Remember, Database Setup is located on the Tools tab. From the main Database Setup menu, click on Analysis Parameter Set Information. We will define this data collection set for an AC induction motor that runs around 1785 RPM. Click Add Set. Make a note of the new AP set number so that it can be assigned to the correct measurement point later. The first tab that opens defines how the spectral data will be collected. The Fmax is entered into the upper frequency field. Verify that the correct units are specified. The analyst will also specify the number of lines of resolution, the number of averages, the averaging mode, and window type. Be aware that the percentage of overlap that will be used for this data collection is defined inside the portable vibration hardware. Now let's click on the Waveform Parameters tab. When the check mark is removed from this box, the analyzer will store the last acquired waveform that was used to generate the spectral data. However, when we place a check mark in this box, we now have the capability of customizing our waveform and storing as much or as little raw data as we like within the confines of the capability of the analyzer, of course. But let's say we don't really know how many data points we should include. Click on the Fmax calculator and enter the Fmax, which will be used as the low pass filter. This value sets the sampling rate. A higher Fmax will have a faster sampling rate to catch the higher frequency events. Now enter the number of shaft revolutions we need to store. We'll use 30 revolutions for this example. Because we're using orders units in this example, we will also need to enter an approximate speed for the measurement point. We will enter 1800 for this motor shaft. Click Recalculate. The suggested adjusted values are displayed. These settings will produce a waveform that is approximately 1.5 seconds long 
and contains about 46 shaft revolutions. To keep these settings, click Use Adjusted Values. After clicking OK, the parameters defined for trending are also available for edit. After reviewing these parameters and making any necessary edits, click OK. The new AP set is ready to be assigned to a measurement point and then added to a route.